What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. I've been hesitant to get my hands on these and give it a try. However, I've had a lot of people actually asking me if these were even worth the cost right now. This is about a year old now. It is the Google Clips little add-on camera module that's supposed to just be one of those set it and forget it tools that you kind of like clip on your shorts, a shirt, and it'll automatically capture moments that it believes is uh, of relevance basically. As you can see here, it does have 130 degree lens field of view. It has three hours of charge. It has 16 gigs of memory. You don't need your internet to capture anything with it. However, obviously to upload it to Google Photos, you would need some sort of connection. It has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. It has USB-C charging at least, so at least you don't need another, uh, any, <clears throat> any proprietary charging port or an old micro USB port. It does only do 15 frames per second. However, it's not that big of a deal. It's literally meant to do clips um, of video. As you can see here, it tells you exactly what I was saying. It is a hands-free camera that captures great moments, so you don't need to choose between saving them and being present. Yada, yada, yada. It's all marketing material. However, we know how good Google's algorithms have been recently and what they've done with their cameras and photos. So I was excited once it got all these updates I've heard about to actually get my hands on it now and try. Uh, you can see this is pretty tiny. I want to go ahead and do an unboxing video for you guys right now and see uh, see just how big this thing is. Let's give it a let's get it done. Set that there. All right. So you can see it says get the app to start. I'll even have to look that up and see what app it is. I'm assuming it's a proprietary Clips app. Let's go ahead and set this aside for now. You can see we have our manual, little paperwork, and our little housing unit for it that you clip on wherever you want to put it. A little rubbery plastic, actually feels pretty nice. Google logo on the back. And obviously your USB-C charger, go ahead and leave that in for now. Not too much really else in the box, obviously. It's kind of give you a comparison on how big this is. I have my OnePlus 6T here, and you can see it's it's pretty tiny. So it will not get in the way if you just wanted to put it somewhere. A lot of people said that they just kind of put it up on a shelf or something like that to capture moments if you're around uh, your kids or anything of that nature, pets. But that is really it. Not too much to this at all. I will definitely be posting some video and photo samples of this once I get going with it. You can kind of see... 130 degree angle f 2.4 aperture let me know what you think guys is this anything you'll be uh you would be interested in till next time we'll catch you in the next one